Drivers Oil of Spain. Today we're going to talk about how to conserve the turf on the driving range. Alright, so there's three kinds of practicers. There's the grave digger, there's the shotgun, and there's the striker. Okay, this is an example of the grave digger. So, this person, I won't name it names, I don't know who it is, basically is utilize a small area of turf but all in one location. So this area takes a little bit longer to recover because there's a long space between this end of the grass and this end of the grass. The way that Bermuda grass grows, it grows in from the side, so it has to cover a longer space. This takes a long time for this divot patch to recover. The next kind of practicer we call the shotgun practicer. So I have a divot here, a divot here, and a here, and a here, 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 here. They're all over the place, um, which allows them to recover a little bit faster. But the problem is, is this whole area will now be unfit for anybody else to practice. So they have to move further and further away, which consumes more turf. So finally, we reach the striper. The striper practices where they hit one golf ball and they work their way back along one spot. So the divot recovers very quickly and uh, doesn't consume a lot of space so members have a lot of room to practice. All right, so this is how you become a striper. I'm gonna go ahead and hit our practice shot here. And you can see that my ball's made a little divot. My next shot, is going to be from this location right here on the back side of the divot so that when I hit my club goes basically on the same path. And then I continue to work back down this stripe. So that's how you become a striper and conserve our turf. Thank you.